Hello and welcome back to my Final Fantasy XII Let's Play. Um, so I was looking around uh, at some of the spells, something I don't know that I've ever shown off. I think I did it once at the very beginning and never really talked about it again, but if you're looking to see what magic you have available, especially per character, uh, on this screen, on your like once you hit party, uh, if you hit, well in my case I'm using the Xbox controller, so it's the X button, it will pull up all the, um, the magic you have, and of course the question marks are things that you're missing. Uh, I just happen to be looking through this. Uh, whoever you select, uh, what they can cast will be in white, uh, obviously. I guess that's pretty obvious, but uh, in case it's not, uh, that's what it is. Um, and I was looking through this and trying to see what I was missing. So let's actually go out and see if we can go pick up some stuff um, that we missed, basically. So I'm going to start here, and we're going to backtrack. Um, luckily, it's just one one step backwards, I believe. Um, okay, so yeah, we want to we want to pop into the Feywood here. That's the wrong way. Of course, I can't. This mini map kills me. Okay, yeah, yeah this is correct. We missed something out here for sure. So we should be able to just pop through here and hopefully get this one. Um, I do believe this is going to be... Let's see here. I've gotten some... I, I got some notes I jotted down for this. This should be Reflectga. Now it's going to be a little challenging to navigate, but we'll see if we can get through it here. This is probably going to be it right here. Watch. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. There it is. Okay, well that was quick. Quick and painless. Alright, so that one's done. Good thing we don't have to resummon him for that. Okay, great. So we missed another one in the uh, Nobris Deadlands. So we can pop, we can teleport up there, I believe, and knock that one out relatively quickly as well. This is one of those things that I was, I had mentioned before. Um, there's a, there's a really good guide on the Steam community. Oh crap! Uh, the forums there that shows you like treasures and what spawns and where they are. Uh, I, for some reason, when I was playing this time, I was not really following that like I normally do, so... Um, I guess because I'm recording uh, this time, I kind of got sidetracked and just forgot about it, basically. Um, so yeah, let's pop up here. Let's just quickly grab this. So, what, what are we going to get? Let's see here. Let me see if I can run while I'm looking. I believe it's going to be this a spell called Warp. I wouldn't say it's ridiculously useful, but I'm really going to try hard this particular playthrough to get all the spells. Yeah, I missed this. There's like a secret path here. And there it is. Boom. Warp. There's another spell. Done. Completely missed that. Okay, so that's two. Okay, what else do we have? So the Great Crystal has a couple we definitely want. Um, Tomb of Wraithwall. Yeah, believe it or not. So, I don't know if you guys might remember me mentioning that we got Dispel Guh for some reason before we got just the regular Dispel. Uh, it turns out we should have gotten the regular version of Dispel, so the single target, um, a long time ago. So now let's go out to the Tomb of Wraithwall, and we'll get that, and that'll be three spells right there that we've able, we've been able to easily knock out. One in particular I'd like to get is on the Sorobi Step, uh, which is the Cleanse spell, and what that enables you to do is it you can remove disease, which is a really nasty um, like status ailment. So. If you're un if you don't remember, disease essentially puts um, puts a status on you that your maximum HP just lowers as you wait. What am I doing? I can just teleport. What am I doing running? Anyways, it lowers your HP, your maximum HP, rather than taking HP away. 
um, which can be real dangerous because, you know, the more hits you get, eventually you go down to one um, HP, which I, I don't know if you remember back when I was trying to farm the Iga Blade, I was getting that constantly, and it was real, it was really bad. So, um, yeah, you want to be able to take that off. Cleanse is the only thing you can that can do it other than if you have, you know, all three of the potion lures, I mean, not potion, uh, remedy lures, and... Uh, you have those on a specific character, then it can also remove it, but we want to be able to take that off um, whenever we need to. And it, I believe this chest right here, as simple as this, I must have missed it. Well, I'm sure we'll hit that chest, but... And there it is, right? The regular Dispel. Amazing. Cannot believe we missed that. And of course, by we, I mean me. Okay, well, that's, that's a few spells very easily knocked out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go and kind of just, I still need to do some more hunts. Obviously we've got so many hunts that I want to knock out. Um, cause we need to get to the mid and late game. I mean, I think we're kind of in the mid, as far as hunts go, the mid game right now. But we want to push some of those much more challenging hunts. Those will still be fun, even at level 99. Um, so it'll be cool to, to knock those out. I'm looking at my list to see if there's anything else I can do. Oh, I think I can grab Siphon as well. Um, you know what? Oops, that's not what I wanted. I hit the wrong thing. Let's uh, let's just see if we can. I'm pretty sure that we have... So uh, Siphon is a green magic. Um, and uh, I believe you need Paragon of Justice, which I believe that's what I have, what I'm on right now as far as the rank goes. Let's just quickly check. Yes. Okay. So we should be able to... Oh my god, why do I keep hitting the wrong stuff? Here we go. Let's use this little guy to get over the Muthru Bazaar. Um, and we'll... We'll go ahead and see if um, that spell is available. I don't know if we'll be using Siphon per se, but... Again, I don't think on the Steam version, this is one of the achievements I've never gotten. So I want to make sure that I can get all spells. Yep, there it is. So that's confirmation for sure. Okay, so now we've got Siphon. So what is that, three or four spells now? Um, what else are we missing that we still kind of have access to? So that was Reflectka, Warp, Siphon, and... What else? Um, oh, and Dispel. At least four, and we might be able to get Cleanse as well, but that's on the Sorobi step. Um, yeah, some of the other like higher ones are deep within the Great Crystal. There's a couple there. And then this, the Green Magic Reverse, I believe that's... Uh, you have to have Knight of the Round, which is like at least 32 hunts or higher that you've completed. Um, Ardor, let's see here. Ardor, which is black magic. Flare, or I'm sorry, Ardor is dark magic. Flare is black ma magic. Holy is white magic. And those three, I believe, are in the next area in the story that we're kind of going to be heading to at some point, which... Um, that also, there's another one that's locked behind, um, fighting a boss in that area, Asun Asunga, which would be really nice to have. Um, so, you know what, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and go out to, um, the Sorobi Step. I think that's our next play. Because it's going to take some time to get around that anyway, so I'll go ahead and pull up a map, hopefully showing me, so I don't miss anything basically, but some of these, uh, some of these chests are, there are tons of chests out here, right? Some of them are guaranteed. Cleanse is guaranteed, I just have to go to the right area, essentially. It's, uh, the cleanse one is in the terraced bank, in case you're wondering. So. Let's run out here and let's actually explore this area because we have not seen it yet. So, well, at least as far as this playthrough is concerned. And again, the the Shirobi Step is another place that you can you can just simply farm chests until you get what you want. I believe that's still in the game. 
it's definitely it was definitely how it was uh, back in the original version. So we need to be the terrorist bank. Now I'm pretty sure the one that you have a lot of chess with are I think it's either here or there. I don't even know where that goes. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay, cool. Well, let's do let's do some exploration, shall we? I mean, obviously none of these uh, none of these bros will be all that difficult, but we will run around as we normally do. Oh, he can hit flying. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. I actually don't recall that I knew that or not. So, again, in the in the original version of this game, if you were trying to get the good stuff, you probably want the diamond armlet on. But in this version, uh, you don't want the diamond armlet on. Because the guaranteed... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. The guaranteed chests are guaranteed regardless. So... At least to my knowledge, anyways. There might be a few exceptions to that. Now, you'll notice he's using Guild Toss to just kill these guys. Which is... Oh, that's probably why. I bet Redis isn't hitting him. I bet Bond is the one doing it, now that I think about it. But, that's cool. Not of Rust. Maybe these are areas where you want the, uh... You kind of want the, um... Diamond Armlet on. I'm not really sure, but... What I'm here for is Clin, so... That's really what matters. That, that is a spell you definitely want to have. It's amazing how quick the buffs wear off. Yeah, I really don't mind throwing away that kind of money. Just not necessary at this point. We got we got more than enough cash. Yeah. So I'm just kind of running around aimlessly at this point because, again, once we get in here and I get to the right treasure chest, which is it's going to be towards the center. I'll show you on the map when I get there. That'll be an amazing spell to have. These guys are really pretty good for LP and for XP. 2769 XP. And then you if you had the double stuff on, that would make it even better, obviously. Alright, it's this rock over here that I'm looking at right now. Um I believe it is. Maybe I'm on the wrong rock. Nope, this is definitely the rock. Okay, there's only a 20% chance that this chest spawns. Okay. And it's right where that trap is. So this is an example where we're going to have to zone in and out until we get that spawn. Because that's the whole reason why we're here. So, this is a great little training exercise. I would suggest you definitely do this for cleanse. You need you need to have cleanse set up properly. Uh, that's That can save you lots of remedies. And cleanse is just really, really bad. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's um, not great.
That must have been a berserk trap. Nice. So eventually the chest will spawn, hopefully. Now, if Fran was available, I could just dispel... I believe you can dispel a Berserk, but... I don't guess we'll do that. Oh, here comes... She's back. Alright, cool. Alright, well, this is, um... This is something. This is why I don't... I mean, you can definitely do this. There was a time on the PS2 version that I would just endlessly farm treasures like this. And be perfectly happy about it, but uh, I mean, this is a, this is only one, and it's still not here. And I only know that it's supposed to be here because I have a guide. Now let's make dang sure we're at the right rock. Yes, we are in fact at the right rock. There are three chests that can spawn here. All three of them. All three of them are 20% chance. You know what? I am going to, just for the fun of it, I'm going to put the diamond armlet on. Because the, the fact that we've zoned this many times already and not seen a single one, I mean, obviously there's an 80% chance that none of them will spawn. You only have to go one screen away for chests to respawn, but if you want to respawn all the monsters, it's two away once you've cleared it. So this is definitely one of those times where you just straight may never get it. You may never see it unless you're you're looking for it. Yeah, so there, there'll be one chest here, okay? There'll be one chest like here, and then there'll be one chest here that can spawn. So it looks like we're going to spend some time doing this, uh, so you can, at the very least, you can get the gist. I mean, I don't know how much more there is to really grasp other than me doing this, but I, I'd like for it to be recorded just so that you can see that it is, in fact, how you do it. Right now, I hardly even believe myself that this is correct, but... None. Again. Wow. And we confirmed that the chest that, that was spawned... Let's well, see, when we first walked in, there was a chest. I think right here. I wonder what the... 29... That one has a 20% chance to spawn as well. Wow, okay. Yeah, so a lot of these are... Pretty much a lot, if not all of these in this zone, are extremely low chance to spawn. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, there it is. That's the one we want. Let's see if I can get close enough without... Okay, boom. We got it. That's what we came for. Great. Okay, so we got it. Uh, that's amazing. And now we no longer have to worry about... Having that specific uh, situation pop up. Uh, Ringworm worm Liver is a uh, rare. It's a rare drop. So we may get other cool loot just because I have the diamond armlet on. It looks like if there's one zone in the game to use the, the armlet in, it would be this area. If you're going to do it, do it here. But, again, it used to be that you'd, you'd want to do that in every area, but not this time. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to continue to kind of look and see what we have. If there's any other reason to get anything else here. Let me just quickly um, 
take a look. Okay, so... It looks like here... Do we have telekinesis, I wonder? Where is our... Here we go. We do not. Okay, so that's another one we want to get. Okay, so that looks like a flying, like a airship access, basically. So we'll go up this way and to the left first, because I also want to see where that exits. As you can see, though, this place is pretty cool. I really wish... Come on now. I really wish you'd just let me open the chest, sir. That'd be amazing. Alright, you know what? I feel like they are kind of just... Don't need regen. Oh, I can use cleanse on him. How about that? Interesting. Okay, let's turn off some stuff. I don't think we really need bravery. I guess I'll leave that stuff on. We don't need bubble. We don't really need haste. That should be fine. So there's probably a chance for, like, treasures to spawn in there, if I had to guess. Okay, we'll have to come back to the other area to check that out. Okay, we've got some traps right here. Let's hope we don't hit them. That was really close. Now, I don't have my Thieves' Cuffs on now because I'm wearing the, the uh, Diamond Arm Boots. We got someone that's healing. I don't know if you're seeing the uh, green numbers, but we're doing enough damage where it doesn't really... I wouldn't say it really matters all that terribly much. Actually, ironically, right where we're standing, according to this map... Basically, right where we're standing, there's a chest that you can get the Staff of the Magi in. If it's spawned in. Okay, not of rust. Amazing. Alright, now what are we looking for again? We need to find chest one... Oh, one. Let's see. So it's right at the exit of this area, basically. That's where telekinesis is. So instead of using Gil Toss, we could potentially just use that instead. For whoever has access to it, of course. This is probably it right here. There it is. Okay. Alright, let's walk into here and just see where this takes us. I don't even remember. Oh, this is the other side of the Sorobi step. Obviously, that makes sense. Okay. So now you can see we can get through. Amazing. I should have I should have remembered that, but I did not. Okay, now let's look and see what other areas. So what about the cross? field 
there's a quest out here for the, the windmills as well, but we're not going to do that, I don't think, right now. Crossfield, um, Aegis Shield, you could potentially get. Grand Bolts, you could get. Uh, renewing uh, Morion, you could get. You can get the Ultima Blade. Oh, you can get the y y Yagu Dark Blade out here as well. It's only a 10% chance to spawn. <laughs> and then an 80% chance to get the item. And then in that north north ward area, you can get Artemis arrows, uh, Artemis arrows, lordly robes, which are really good. You can get a hunter's blade, grand armor, which is really good. The Babylus's bone, which we have, a shell shield, Orochi, which I believe is a great katana, golden skull cap, glimming robes, mage power shiki, which we have one of. So there are some things. There are reasons why we might want to go back. Um, and do, uh, like this area and this area, as well as here. Um, what is the easiest way to get out of here? Because honestly, I think, uh, I think we're good. I just didn't want to miss anything that was more what I would consider mandatory. I'm just going to run back. I think we're good. On the off chance that we get lucky... I will still like open stuff, but her cure just did 14,000 health. Very nice. I mean, we got a few minutes. We'll we'll run through and just see if there's anything interesting. know what it could be out here. Well, I guess technically you could know. You just have to look the guide up. It'd be awesome if there was like an overlay that you could get as a mod that would just tell you oh, what is this? I don't even remember accepting this, but okay, cool. Wow. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> I guess that means we're going to turn on some of our gambits here. I'll definitely turn on haste. And we'll turn on uh, bravery and protectra. Ooh, and shell. I don't even re recall this. This has got to be some quest. Let me go ahead and quickly do that, too. Okay, well now I guess we're live. What is this? Viral, okay. I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to try to slow it down. Oh, we are absolutely destroying, as you would expect. Okay. The Vera Rucksack. Whatever that is. Oh, you know what that is? That was a hunt. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that was a hunt. I just didn't realize we were we had already accepted it. White cap it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. That was just a hunt. I just we weren't I was just out here exploring, so I completely forgot that was even a thing. Now I kinda feel stupid, but that's cool. It's all good. Um, wait, what do I want? I'm going to put the... I'll put the diamond armlet back on just in case something cool spawned out here. Okay, let's see what this is, if we get anything cool. Nope. So when you open... On these chests, when you open it with a diamond armlet, you're still not guaranteed to get the good thing if the chest spawns. 
So what you might find is you get gill instead, or a knot of rust in this case. Yeah, so so far uh, not we're not doing great at all, as far as just getting lucky, anyways. But what you'll do is you you would eventually memorize all all the chest locations, and then you'd know if you got lucky or not. Okay, well we did definitely did not get lucky there. All right, well. I mean, I doubt there's going to be a whole lot more. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably just finish, like, filling this area out. You know, knowing my luck, I'll get something cool as a drop, but I won't be recording. So if I do, I'll let you know in the next episode. Um, we will continue to uh, move forward uh, when we come back. Uh, again, I'm tempted to go to the Great Crystal, but I know that if I do that, I need to at least commit and try to kill Ultima. And I'd like to have some good uh, magic uh, options before we do that. So, we'll see where we're at. I, that's definitely coming up, but I can't say if it's going to be the next episode. I know I've kind of been saying that multiple times, but we'll get there eventually. I do appreciate the patience. Hopefully you enjoyed today, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.